What's up, guys? So Dunkirk is directed by Christopher Nolan and stars Tom Hardy, Mark Rylance, Killian Murphy, and Kenneth Branagh. And it's the story of Allied soldiers who were evacuated from the beaches of Dunkirk during World War II. This film, going into it, you know, I love Christopher Nolan as a director. I love all the films that I've seen of his. I hadn't seen all of his movies, but I've seen most of them. And, you know, I really think he's... A fantastic director and one of my favorites. So going into this, I was definitely excited to see the movie, even though I didn't really know about the source material going in. And, uh, you know, after leaving the theater, I'll tell you this, this film, you know, I think Christopher Nolan knocked this out of the park yet again. Uh, for me personally, I think that this movie was absolutely incredible. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people that have had issues, you know, with the film about, you know, some of the characters aren't necessarily, you're not able to get emotionally invested into them. But Christopher Nolan said in an interview or several interviews that this film, you know, it's not a character story. It's more about a story of the situation and, you know, the evacuation, you know, it's more about that, and it's 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 a story of, you know, uh, survival pretty much at its at its at its roots, and it's an extremely suspenseful film. Right when the movie starts, you are sucked into it from the first scene to the very last scene, and I think that also definitely has to do with Hans Zimmer's score for this movie. It was absolutely incredible. The the music and just the way that it builds tension in the film, it was absolutely fantastic. The cinematography in this movie is phenomenal. You know, the way the movie looks, the way it's directed, everything about this film, and even the screenplay. There's not a lot of dialogue in this movie, but that is substituted with all of these fantastic sequences that just leave you on the edge of your seat and holding your breath. I think the performances in this movie are phenomenal. This movie is only about an hour and 46 minutes with end credits. Without, it's only about an hour and 40 minutes. And it flew by for me. This movie flies by, it, you know, for the way that it ends, the way that it's told, the story's told in general. You know, it's told from like three different perspectives. And, you know, I'm not going to give too much away about that, but I just want to say, you know, just everything about this movie worked for me. And I was extremely entertained. I loved this film. It is probably one of my favorite Nolan films, but then again, I say that about all of Nolan's movies that I've seen, because all of his movies are great. You know what I mean? So this movie is no exception from that. I'm going to give Dunkirk five out of five stars, you know... I'm not just being a Nolan fanboy here, I genuinely went into this movie like I do any other film, and I absolutely loved this movie from beginning to end. So guys, comment your thoughts in the comment section. Do you plan on seeing Dunkirk? Did you see it already? Also, you guys can subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed for reviews I'll be posting in the future, for reviews that I've already posted, and you can also follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video, and you can also follow me on Snapchat at RyanKing72 and on Instagram at KingArises131. Guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Dunkirk. Over and out. Where's the bloody Air Force?